What do you do if you get to the end of a project and your client thinks they own the copyright to all your work and you think you own the copyright to all your work and you don't have a contract? Let's find out how to fix it. You might find yourself in a situation where your client expects that they will own your work outright, copyright and all, once they pay you. And this tends to happen a lot with independent clients or clients that aren't used to working with illustrators exactly the sort of clients you might find yourself working with early on in your career. It can cause real problems if it happens late on in a project when you've already done the work, or worst of all, when you've handed over the final files and they haven't paid you. They might refuse to pay for all the work you've done. And then you're left in a battle of wits uh, as to how you can explain or argue your case, or you have to give in and just agree to give them your copyright just to get paid. And that is not a good situation to be in. At the start of a project, it's really important to take the time to ask your client specifically what they will use the illustrations for. And if they say a book, ask them if they have any other potential uses in mind for the work. I really want you to quiz them on this because whatever they say, you should be factoring that into your price. Then it's very important to state clearly in your communications with the client early in the process, ideally when you're sending your price, that the images are being licensed for a specific purpose. And without getting into any arguments and without leaving any grey areas, you've made it perfectly clear to them that the price you have sent is for them to use the illustrations for that specific purpose. They know what the deal is. There's no way they can claim they didn't know or assume that they own your copyright. But what if it's too late and you haven't explained any of this at the start of the project and it only comes up at the end when you've done all the work but they haven't paid you yet? and you don't have any formal agreement in place. Let's say you've spent six months working on illustrations for an independent author, and they casually mention something that doesn't sound right to you. Maybe they've made some prints with your work on it, and you think, oh, that's not right. These illustrations for a, for a book. And then the penny drops. Uh-oh. They think they can do whatever they want with the illustrations. You don't want to just barrel in and say, you can't do that because it will make them defensive and probably lead to an argument. In most cases, it's not their fault. They don't know how our industry works, and it's really your responsibility to tell them how it works. If you get yourself in a situation like this, or a situation where the client is demanding their own copyright, they might not really know what that means, and they probably don't need it. They just think they do. You want to avoid confrontation or an argument as much as possible and try to ask the right questions first. What do they intend to do with the illustrations? You can ask them what they will use them for aside from the book. And if they say just the book, that's fine. They don't need your copyright for that. If they give you a big long list, now you have an opportunity to discuss the license with them and what that means. If they have some small specific requests, like using it on their website, for example, you might be happy to let them do that for no extra cost. In which case, you can say that you're happy to include that in their license. And that might raise some questions in itself about what exactly you mean by a license, but at least it gives you an opening to discuss it. If it is a big list, though, you can say to them that illustrators license their work for specific purposes. And your understanding was that these illustrations were to be used for a book only. And you can tell them that if they want to extend the license, you'll be happy to discuss the extension and an additional fee for the extra uses. Then you're making it clear that anything apart from the agreed and discussed book is extra. If this discussion is coming at the end of a project, however nicely you put it, it may ruffle their feathers because it now seems like they're getting less than they bargained for. Imagine yourself in that position. If you thought you'd bought a new car, but it turns out you'd only rented it, you'd be pretty mad at the salesperson if they didn't tell you that at the time. You need to be prepared to defend your position calmly but firmly. And do your best not to turn this into an argument and keep it at a normal conversation level because you have to be the voice of reason in this situation and explain the rules. What I find can be very helpful is to mention some of the other industries where licensing is the norm. Uh, newspapers, for example, license photos from freelance photographers. The newspaper doesn't own any of those photos unless the photographer is specifically employed by the newspaper. They pay freelance photographers a fee to use their photos. If a song by Fleetwood Mac is used in a Marks and Spencers TV commercial, Marks and Spencers don't then own that song outright. That would be crazy. 
they've just paid to license that song in their commercial. And this can help to normalize it in the client's mind because they might be more familiar with these industries than they are with uh, illustration. And it kind of puts things into perspective. So you could say, just like photographers or musicians, illustrators license their work for specific uses. We hadn't previously discussed any transfer of copyright, so my price was based on the book use only. This will help them understand it at least, but it's probably not going to solve the problem completely. What do you think the client is most concerned about in this situation? Most likely it's either you selling the work to somebody else while they're still using it in their book, or the client thinks they're going to have to pay you more and more money over and over again. And both of these fears are completely justified and understandable. If they pay you for the work and then they see the illustrations in somebody else's book, that would be extremely irritating for them. Or if they have some success with the book and then they've got to pay you a load more money for whatever you come up with, uh, that's going to be a problem because they don't really know what the rules are. And one of these things is easy to solve and you can put their mind at ease and tell them that they have the exclusive license to publish these illustrations, meaning you won't sell them to anybody else as long as your client is using them. And that's fair. It would be very unreasonable of you to produce work for this client uh, and then immediately sell the illustrations onto somebody else, even if you were technically allowed to do so. So reassure them that you won't do that. The other issue might not be so easy for them to understand, especially if it hasn't been made clear at the start of the project. If you were working for a publisher on a picture book with an author, you would likely be paid in advance, and so would the author. The publisher predicts what the sales might be like for the book and offers the author and the illustrator an advance payment based on that prediction. You would also be offered a royalty against that advance. So if the sales of the book exceed the publisher's expectations, both you and the author receive additional payments uh, based on how well the book is doing. And both you and the author are rewarded for the success of the book because you have both contributed to its success. If that book is then translated into 10 different uh, languages and sold in 30 countries around the world, everybody wins. It's not going to work like that with an independent author because they can't set up and keep track of royalties and that kind of thing, and they probably can't afford to be paying you more money for every little thing that might come up. So you do need to be flexible and reasonable when you're working with an independent author. But let's say for argument's sake, this is a fully illustrated book, and you and the author have done 50% of the work each. If the author sells that book to a publisher and it becomes a huge success, you should be rewarded for your contribution to its success. And if you explain that to the author, I would hope that they'd realize that it's a very reasonable thing uh, for you to expect. If the book is self-published by the author and it's only ever going to be a small print run, then that's fine. They definitely don't need your copyright to be able to do that. They only need the rights to be able to use the illustrations in the book. But in both cases, you could keep your copyright and it's not going to be a problem for the author. Making them see that can be a challenge, though. In most cases, your client doesn't need copyright, they just think they do, to protect themselves from having to pay you more money or from you selling the work to somebody else. So if you can find ways to put their minds at ease about both these things, you should be able to reach an agreement. The problem is, though, they should have to pay you more money if, uh, if they use your work for different things. So you have to choose the way you explain it very carefully and make it seem like a win-win situation, which it is, really. At a very basic level, if the book sells so well that the author wants to print a second edition, you want to receive an additional fee to have your illustrations feature in the second edition. It's not going to be as much as the first time because there's no production cost involved. It's just a payment for your contribution to the book's success. So they're only paying you more if the book does well. That is win-win. If they want to make merchandise uh, related to the book, using your illustrations, the author will make money from that. But you made the illustrations, not the author. It is fair for both you and the author to make money from that merchandise. It's their book, they're your illustrations. If the author gets a publisher interested and the book becomes hugely successful, they will be rewarded and so will you. That's win-win. When you work with an author on a book, you're on the same team and you're both contributing to its success and you're both being rewarded for it, hopefully. So if you can make them realize that and be positive and supportive throughout the whole process, 
There really should be no reason for them to feel disgruntled or cheated. But you never know. Some people won't get it, no matter what you say. The key is not to get into that situation in the first place. I've focused on independent authors because that's the area I see this problem arising in the most. But it can really happen for anything. You can make a t-shirt design for some independent company and then you see that design being used on the company's website and some posters and uh, a custom skateboard design and laptop cases and mugs. You have to find a way to discuss licensing with the client. First, you've got to try and normalize the idea of licensing creative work for a specific purpose. And you can do that by mentioning some of the other industries that they might be more familiar with. Then reassure them that you support what they're doing and you're not going to do anything to jeopardize that, like selling the images to another t-shirt, book, laptop, skateboard, mug shop. Finally, explain to them that working in this way is fair and a good deal for both of you, a win-win situation. If they've already made all these products and you've never had this discussion, you can't just send them an invoice because that's not going to work. You might have to admit defeat if all this stuff's already been made because you should have made it clear from the start. Their ignorance of the way our industry works is not your fault, but it's probably not their fault either. How would they know unless somebody tells them? Do yourself a favour and start making this part of your process before projects get too far along. This is a side note, but it's particularly important with independent clients or clients that don't commission illustration very often that you get a deposit payment or staged payments for your work. You have to protect yourself because there are a lot of people out there that will not behave professionally or even fairly if you have a disagreement. And you don't want to end up in a situation where you have to go to court to get paid for a project. Put safeguards in place up front. And then if you get 90% of the way through a project and the client disappears or you have a falling out, at least then you'll have been paid something for the project. If this has been useful, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, uh, let me know. And uh, maybe you'll find something else useful in these videos.